it's Mason Plumley. Then there's De'Aaron Fox. And it's Rubio in at the two. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. Irving, the pass to Bamba. Six to shoot. Takes a three. And Irving with the basket. On the assist by Bamba. Irving's got eight. Kyrie Irving makes things look easy from range. This guy's so efficient beyond the arc. Pass to Rubio. Back to Middleton. Claxton with a rebound. Almost too wide open there. That's like a warm-up jumper for him. Irving, the pass to Barnes. And here's Thompson for three. Plumley pulls down the board. He hasn't helped the cause with his shooting, but his teammates have had his back. And it's Fox penetrating. They're one of the fastest players in the game. When Fox attacks the defense, he puts so much pressure on them. Bellington's checked in for New York. The Cavaliers, De'Aaron Fox, at the line for two. First free throw is good. Lenz checked in for Kansas City. Gallinari comes in for Iguodala. And both free throws good for Fox. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Irving, the pass to Barnes. Here's Thompson. It's tipped. Here we go. All alone. And see the defender unwilling to just give it to Rubio. Forces him to the line. Yeah, too bad he fouled out. But this team does have some depth at his position. Rubio. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. good on the free throw. One thing you know, Ricky Rubio is a hard worker and a terrific leader. This is a guy who wants to make the players around him better. And no good on the second free throw, so 0 for 2 there. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Here in the second half, they're really focused on stretching the floor. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. Rubio. Oh, Covington with a block. This guy is such a lengthy wing defender. Robert Covington doing work defensively. Barnes, it's good. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. And you know, B.A., even with the game well in control, he's going right at the rim. I love it. Pass to Rubio. He shoots. The rebound by Bamba. He forced that one. Not a productive trip up the floor. And in a way, by taking that one, he's bailing out the defense. It's just too easy to stop. Well, the defense has been lackluster out of the locker room, and that is why they are finding themselves in a tough spot. Here's Lynn. And here's Rubio, covered by Smith. Middleton outside. Clock at six. Pass to Fox. They need this. Counted from distance. Yeah, Fox. Fox has got 19 points. And it's important that Fox keeps taking and making triples. It really helps open up everything else for him. Back to Irving. Outside Covington. And good. Coming on the assist by Irving. Covington's got eight points. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Here's Lynn, and the dunk to finish it off. A oh, beauty. Wow, able to survey over the top of defenses as well as squeeze into tight quarters. Rubio is the consummate playmaker. Now here's Barnes. Seven points in the game. Here's Middleton. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. Give him eight points now. This guy a tough cover for any defender. Creative and assertive scoring the ball. Now a timeout called by New York.
He's checked in for Bamba. For New York, they've gotten six of ten shots to fall in this third quarter. Pass to Brooks. Hartenstein pulls it in. Hartenstein's got five rebounds tonight. Down low. Rubio got a hand on it. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Irving. Harrell's checked in for New York. The home team on D. They led by as many as 18. Barnes passes to Covington. Now here's Barnes. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Well, that's called exhibiting power and quickness in the painted area. Barnes does a really good job drawing contact there. All right, guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for New York. Yeah, they've done a great job of challenging every shot they can. Their totals in the block column are a result of that aggression. And they've also been scoring on the break with how difficult it is to get buckets in the half court. Anytime you can push the ball in transition for easy ones, that's big time. Man, he's checked in for Rubio. Free throws good from Barnes. This is about the last guy you want to send to the stripe right now. They keep fouling him, and he keeps making them. Now Fox. He's got 19 to the middle. Here's Hardenstein. Second chance effort, and that's two points on the layup. Hardenstein's got his first two points of the night. Boy, the work ethic on the offensive glass just refuses to give up on that possession. Smith outside. Pass to Brooks. Fires for three. He drops it from range. Brooks has got eight. Uh, just terrific vision right there from Smith to keep the ball moving for a score. Box the pass to Noel. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. They'll pin that one on Harrison Barnes. Shooting for Kansas City. Nerlens Noel. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Noel. And you know, guys, listen. Noel brings value. The reason he's a menace on the defensive end and an absolute warrior on the glass. Chris Middleton's checked in for Boston. So Noel nails both of them. For New York, they've gotten 7 of 12 shots to drop in the third. Two minutes remaining in the third. Pass to Harold. There's a minute 54 left in the third quarter here. For three, Smith. He's off on that one. The Cavaliers have gotten 6 of 14 shots to drop in this third quarter. Middleton with it. Guarded by Covington. Fox outside. Middleton from the outside. And it's Harrell with a rebound. Harrell's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Brooks outside. And we've got 118 left in the third. Pass to Harrell. Shot clock at six. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Yeah, this is not a guy who draws a ton of fouls. But Barnes baits the defender that time. Shooting for New York, Harrison Barnes at the line for two. That free throw good from Barnes. A really solid free throw shooter. The team would like to see Barnes get to that line more often. Irving's checked in for Covington.
Both free throws good from Barnes. And really strong at the line since the break. Pass to man. And here's Middleton. Another shot. Oh, denied by Harold. What a block by Montrez Harold. Twice on the bikes. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. Yeah, this is the elevated energy level you expect in the postseason. Chasing down blocks and making an impact. Plumlee's checked in for Kansas City. Iguodala comes in for Noel. Andre Iguodala. Now here's Middleton. Give him eight points now. Up and over Brooks. They grab their own miss. Iguodala. And that one's good. A nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. Back to Irving. Five on the clock. Driving in. Plumley pulls down the board. Plumley's got four rebounds now. To the inside. Here's Middleton. Pass to man. Fox outside. Second chance shot. Can't get it to drop. Good shot. Gone bad. Gotta finish this. Well through three quarters of play. Down double digits. It may be difficult to overcome. Up by 15. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. And we take a listen in now to Tom Thibodeau on a recent huddle. Defensively, make sure we're all getting rebounded. No second shot. In transition, everyone talk. No open threes in transition. And Tom Thibodeau wanting his guys to pay particular attention to certain areas of their defense. Yeah, taking care of the defensive boards, allowing no easy buckets on the fast break, are key elements to their success. And our coverage of Game 7 continues. Intense atmosphere right now. We've got Mo Bamba, Harrison Barnes out there with Dylan Brooks, Leonard Smith, and it's Irving in at the point guard position. And no lack of aggression on that move. Good for the 2K drive. They're taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. Now here's Brooks. Smith outside. Puts up a three. The shot won't fall. Boy, this guy just can't buy a bucket, and yet they have the advantage. Iguodala, the pass to Rubio. Here's Mann. With the 10-footer. That one falls. Coming off Rubio's feed. Rubio's got three assists now in this one. Pass to Brooks. Back to Smith. Irving with it. Back to Smith. Looking to end this cold spell. That one a little long. And despite a struggle scoring the ball, they've done enough to build this lead. And that one's good. Man. In full-on catch-up mode. They're raining threes right now. Smith outside. Back to Irving. It's Barnes on the wing. Iguodala defending. Smith passes to Brooks. Oh, no good. The dry spell continues. And here's Rubio. Iguodala inside. He's guarded by Barnes. Out to the right wing. Here's Rubio. And it's off target. Not sure why he took that one. Here's Irving. Offensive rebound. Pass to Bamba. Goes up again. Off the left rim and out. Listen, that's a shot he can make, but obviously the defense okay letting him shoot it. And there's the lob. Bumley, no good. And the idea was good, but the execution severely lacking. Just a missed connection, and it happens. I'm sure they will go back to it if given.
given the opportunity. And it's Brooks missing. The Cavs have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Rubio passes to Gallinari. And the foul called on Danilo Gallinari. That's his first foul of the game. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. Hartenstein, he's checked in for Iguodala. And they've been moving the ball really well tonight. New York. Good things come to those who take good shots. Now a timeout called by New York. And this late game timeout, getting a breather here. Important for the players to recharge. This is where you have a chance to get rehydrated with some Gatorade. Some severe weather issues. Uh, severe weather advisories. Mitchell weather advisory. Hey guys, over the last break, oh, I was talking to Chris and Tate. Yeah. He told them, "quote Play as if it's zero zero. We want that type of energy and focus. We might be winning, but this game is not over yet. It's a clear message, guys." Thanks for that, Allie. Here's Bamba. Their offense stone cold. Another miss there. Here's Rubio. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Credit the hard work coming back. They're doing their best to steal this game. They're <laughs> showing so much passion and determination here at the end. They're close to the lead, but still have plenty of work left to do. Now here's Smith. He buries it for three. And New York leads by the
in the game. Get it going. 
going. Offensive rebound. Harold. And the layup is good off the glass. And New York leads by 11. Their home crowd has energized them all game. Now they're closing it out. Well, for all intents and purposes, this game is over. Just a matter of time here. Now here's Brooks. Three second difference between the top clock and the game clock. Seven feet out. Mamba pass to Harold. Smith outside. Murphy with it. Back to Brooks. They've won it. Next up, conference semifinal. And what a way to cap off the riveting series in round one. They seem to be the best of this game seven. They're going to have to put a lot of energy into winning this series. They'll be a little worn down physically, but from a mental standpoint, they'll be riding high after they've been so hard to win this series. All right, now let's check in with Allie the Force. Allie, what do you have? Kyrie, what does it mean for this team getting the production off the bench that we saw tonight? Good times. You know, when you're a basketball player, you're able to make the right play, you're able to play at a high intensity level, and really come out and make an impact on the game, no matter if you're starting to come out and make an impact. This team is so unselfish. Back back to you. All right, Alec, thank you. Well, that'll do it for now. Glad you could join us during the first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. For Alley LaForce, Grand Hill, and Doris Burke, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching tonight's game. So long, Teams he's in the playoffs with. That's crazy. Oh, that's how many teams he's in with, period, I guess.
At Kroger, you can find the highest quality products at a great price in every aisle, every day with Kroger brand. So you can stock up on your household favorites that are tried, tested, and loved by you. Because when you get the products you love at great prices, it feels like winning. Shop now, in-store, or online. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Who do you see when you look in the mirror? Someone who wants to make change in their community. Who do you see when you look in the mirror? Someone who's striving for more. Who do you see when you look in the mirror? Someone who is just getting started. You have the power to create the change you want to see with Walden University. It's time to join more than 174,000 alumni making change happen. Walden University. Set a course for change. Visit waldenu.edu. Three free throws? Oh, now oh, we got hurt. We got a minute left. They got 11. So at least they made it respectable, man.
again. Shout out to Eva. Shout out to Smokey too. Right too, man. Thank you. The best for the door club. Let's put us over. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that is what happened earlier. Earlier it was 46 to 23, the Knicks. In the black versus blue match. Me and our final eight. Our hateful eight. Our grateful eight. Our faithful eight. I couldn't play a game with this fist. I could take a screenshot and send it. That's what's up. Yeah, I probably couldn't type it. That's not what they Yeah, yeah, I told them that. I told them that they beat Boston and now they got the chair. No, it's a cut and laugh. I told them that. Yeah, I got King Slayer. Fox, I got Rue. Casey got Smokey. Yeah, I'm sure it's not the first time you met in the playoffs either. And that's what it's all about, man. <laughs> robberies, man. Me and Teddy's robberies never made it out of the first round. Yeah. 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 First round is a doozy, though, man. It's a doozy. It's a doozy. SCGs, Teddy, Decker, Bree. Thank you for playing. It's been a wonderful season. Um, get ready for next season. Now's the time yep. to make your plans. And speaking of next season, and making plans. Oh shit, I don't got that many buttons. <laughs> oh my god, I have to get over there. Okay. <laughs> Oh, hold on. Alright, wait a minute. Alright, yep, right on the right page. So what they saying is gonna happen in the state of draft. Now we still got a lottery to go through. So we don't know who's gonna wind up with these picks. X Dog still hoping to get crack into the top five. I mean top three. Yeah, he still got a chance to do it, man. Still got a chance to do it. You just seen that in the real draft. Okay, the team is that they had like the fourth or fifth best chance. Wanted with number two pick or some shit like that. So, uh, it is where it is, man. One in the top three. Yeah, yeah, I think one in the top three. Wanted with the fourth pick or some shit or something like that. That's better. I can read it now. Right. They're saying you're going to get yeah, six. Yeah, for some reason your stream went to like fucking 160p. I was like, what the fuck? This is all bloody as hell. I might have been an internet dipping in that like that. I think it was probably because I had the other tablet for watching the game. Yeah, that could be it. So that still goes to a lottery and doesn't go to just a position? Um, yeah, 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 it's definitely still a lot of, we got to change it from that if we want to change it, but, um, uh, yeah, we changing it, we changing it to the fucking Wilson name thing, the tournament, yep, <laughs> but high key, I already knew this was going to happen, I knew this last season this shit was going to happen like this, uh, not just that it was going to happen, but that, uh, you know, we was gonna have to redraft these motherfuckers, you know. Um, uh, that there was gonna be a lottery this year that we didn't have, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't gonna be based on nothing else. Uh, there was a couple other things I knew was gonna be the same. I, I, I basically assumed that that first season we wasn't gonna be able to make any changes, so I was surprised we was even able to get the 3,000 you out. 
Um, but I know that's a rule, not so much, a, you know, it's like a rule of being the game, not so much as, as a, what's the name, so. Yeah, but it has an elite meeting rule, so I guess. It is, yeah. But, yeah, again, I wasn't even, but all the rest of these things I had anticipated. Uh, that one wasn't, I was a surprise that we were able to do that. I figured this first year was going to be, you know, uh, you know, fucking stock, you know, whatever, the default, you know, everything is default, but, uh, we got the fouls, but I knew this shit right here, and it was like, one more thing, um, oh, well, I knew we wasn't gonna have to, uh, yeah, yeah, this, this is it, the lottery, there wasn't gonna be no play out for the pick, we gotta put that in, There's something else we gotta put in, the overtime, and, you know, it's like a handful of things, uh, I think I knew we could get the steppy in rule, out of the way, you could trade multiple years back to back draft picks. I knew we could get that out the way. Um, oh, your draft picks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the multiple yeah, years. Yeah, yeah, that shit, that shit. And then uh, the thing I didn't anticipate, though, one thing that did fuck us up this year, fuck me up. Um, that shit that clicked. I can't. I, mean, I can get to it probably, but it's gonna take a fucking minute to get to it. That shit was pre-existing traded picks uh, uh, way that shit was since I forgot to hit that tab I wasn't thinking about it at all when I passed by it uh, I had to trade everybody's fish back that's probably the only logistical thing kind of that was like a headache that's something I didn't anticipate obviously you didn't scroll right past it you know uh, so I didn't know that was going to be coming or looking the oh god, it's gonna trip. Or looking the way it do look. But but we got that right and that wasn't really too hard. I mean it was time consuming, but it wasn't too hard. It's pretty self explanatory. You the Clay Morris, you get all the Clay Morris picks. You know what I mean? The Orlando with the Browns, they get all the Browns picks or whatever the fuck. So, you know, that wasn't too hard, but as far as bumps along the road or different things you uh, didn't see coming and coming into the season versus some things I had seen coming. Uh, I I knew it was going to be a lottery. I didn't know the lottery broke down to the top three get equal percentage. I didn't know the lottery was like that. I thought the lottery was like one get like 15%. They get 14%. And they get 13%. You know what I'm saying? I thought it would be at least, at least, at least one degree of separation here. Uh, I think it's, it's like that for anybody that's not in the top three. Yeah, 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 the top three get it like that. You know, the top three of the best. Mm -hmm. The three best And even still... Because, you know, it's like a lottery. You could have the numbers, yeah. and then, you know, two other people could have the numbers as well, and you're not going to guarantee you get, like, the actual number and, and And also, it's still a lottery, so even if you got a 15% chance, somebody still got to put their hand in there and grab a ball out, and they could fuck around and grab, like, like literally, uh... I, it don't happen often, but it's a lot of these niggas is literally putting their hand in a big ass globe and grabbing balls out. This motherfucker's second chance was picked for one of being the number one pick. If that, you know what I'm saying? Like if that shit don't get picked up, but I think they got something else with it. I think it's the only 15 to one are in the lottery. 15 to one are in the lottery. I don't think the rest of these teams are even in the lottery. 16 back. So maybe the second chances was a bad example. The 15th team is probably going to be a better example. What the fuck? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so this 15, 10, all these guys, any of these people are able to get the number one pick. Uh, and, you know, it's literally up to chance, you know? It's literally up to chance. But it's just they got a better chance. But that don't mean shit. Somebody still got to go in there and grab that ball out. That's the only thing about the fact that this is a video game that I'm not really with because it's like a video game. They're going to do it like, you know, any other video game to play the odds. You're saying this shit moving on fast right now. You know, I'm going to hit X. Stop it. You know what I mean? Like the fucking spin in GTA or in fucking <laughs> my career or whatever. <laughs> it's going to be like some algorithmic bullshit. But. Yeah, it's programmed to fucking. Yeah, basically. The computer, so. Yeah. You know, whatever computer teams aren't controlled by fucking players, it's going to fucking benefit the teams. 
and, and since it's based off of like like the fact that this draft has happened 88 times and all 88 times the draft happened uh, you know nothing crazy really ever happened in the draft like the guy with the 15th pick I don't think ever wound up getting that long ago. but it's possible you know you know, but where it's all machine, I don't think it's ever going to be possible. But in real life, I think that'll happen. I mean, I don't know if it's ever happened or not, but I do think that the probability and odds, one out of every 99 of these drives, that shit got to happen at least. You know what I mean? It's something. I, I took math class. I know probabilities. Somebody like it. But I also, I also knew that when I made that trade to get this pick right here, I also knew that I should, I should make two trades and get two opportunities. Two, two. I remember I said it too. I wasn't supposed to say any of that out loud, but I knew I needed two lottery tickets. And the worst part is, I also knew that these were just tickets. I kept saying that, like trying to convince myself of it, because I wasn't sure. But that was the fucking truth. These are just tickets. Uh, this is the Wimbenyama sweepstakes. And I got a good ticket, but man, it ain't like I got the, you know what I mean? Like, this ain't, this ain't, this is, I'm not getting big headed off of this bullshit right here. This, yeah, I might as well be number three or number two. We all got the same exact amount of chance. But again, it's a video game, so you never know, man. Honestly, I hope the Spurs get it. Spurs get the number one pick, pick Wimbenyama. Don't turn back. NBA.com, wrong as fuck. Scoot Henderson is not on my list. Anyone who knows me knows that. The same news. Y'all read the papers. Y'all seen the stream. Y'all know damn well what I'm looking for. I'm looking for big men. Alright? Big men. Alright? The most dynamic big men in the league. Yep, that's why we got LeBron James. Yeah, I've seen the league. Everybody's skinny. They all drink protein shakes. Nope. They all drink like like fruit fruit and vegetables like the green juice and shit lebron got the protein shakes y'all yeah. he got the muscles the rest of these guys ain't got no muscles they got no shoulders i've seen lebron shoulders he built like the gingerbread house not the gingerbread. <laughs> he ain't built like the gingerbread, man. He built like the gingerbread house. Oh, man. Uh, we gotta check out these stats in the first round. <coughs> Deep in the draft. Um, there's a player I don't see out here, man. Let me see, let me see if I can find him, man. Yeah, man, I'm a sir. I like those guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this dude named my shit was Cockburner. Cockburner, though. Now it's Cockburner. It's got way different. And the Gorton, the Zanian Devil. See? Sissoko. Drew Tenney. Yeah, I don't know some of these guys. Uh, ben Bona. Rocco Pacation. Milo Miller. Mm. Uh, Nine uh, 2K. Jazz Express. NBA.com. You need that kind of draft express. A long as fuck. 
2K, the clubs are still being right, man. Um, I hope this draft do happen the way this shit right here is saying, man. See, the Browns got two picks in the first round. They both have to be, though. Man, man, we don't even have to make the picks, man. Let's get to these stats. No, fuck that was it. Alright, these leaders. Who lead the league in the playoffs, y'all? Alright, this time we're gonna go all the way down to 10. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. Okay. Okay, my bad. Right. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. <laughs> oh, hey yo, how are you? He's packing they ass back and taking their ass to Cabo. Oh, uh, so yeah. I understand. I'm playing chess. I got it all old dude. So the next three years, I can be a contender. Alright, so you do know. You do know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm well aware of everything. I tell you, this is, uh, I've been saying it. Man, I, I didn't want to have to break the news. I sat back. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I think this season. I ain't gonna lie. That, that's really what I did. I didn't make no changes. But bring the experience where as graduations, I was to win. Yeah, I did too. To so all you fuckers, they came back and said, "Hey, I got beat by the champ." But hey. You know, enough of that. You know, I don't know. Jay and I are preparing the album. Yeah. Jay, this day. You know, that way we're marketing. We'll be back. For Zing God. It's true. You know, yeah, y'all on the top on these blocks, though. I remember that from earlier. Y'all the top of these blocks. Yep. I told him you at the top. Oh, and I still got James Wiseman. Yep. And so Chen. And Mitch Robinson. Yep. They should be back. Yeah. And um, I'm fully. I'm gonna let y'all know. I'm going all in on one player. What's up? Okay. A new acquisition? Somebody bringing in? Yeah. yeah okay. Really. And I was just about to ask, you know, because you've seen all these players that you got, but are the players that you mentioned thus far, you, do you do you truly think those guys that you just brought up there on your team, do you think they're going to be on your team next year, this time, well, next I, year? Well, I can tell you, I can get it. Get it. Uh, 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 Jerry. Jerry, Michael. One question. But what about the block party, Porzingis and AD? What about the block party, yo? I didn't know AD was young, older than Porzingis. I thought Porzingis was way older than AD. Well, Man. you know what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna sit back, we're gonna analyze. I'm like an AD, like a Giannis. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Um, Let's see what type of comparison that really is. Where is Giannis up there? Okay. Giannis and AD. They were very comparable numbers. Technically, AD had a better series than... Nah, I don't know. Nah, yeah, man. Yeah. Where he he got more rebounds and more blocks. All right. But less assists, but not, not zero. You know? You know? Uh, a little bit less steals. You know? Well, who's shooting a better percentage? Uh, Giannis, but not by much. Alright, uh, listen, we're going to tell you. I can hear it's exactly what he is. Oh. It's gone. Wow. Yeah, I can guarantee that. He's packing his bags. We're going to focus on the youth. <laughs> Any truth to the rumors that Levine for Devin Booker? Um, it, it was a conversation. Uh, but what I can't confirm is that, is that that was the time. Mm. I was also in conversation with Desmond Bain. Mm. I think Desmond Bain is uh, worth whatever the fuck that dude is. Zach Yeah. Mm. But I'm also thinking, uh, I could think about a couple options. 
Get up off and, uh, a package for one guy. I've been focused on him all season. Computer has him. Uh, let's take a look at what, what they got out here, man. Uh, your team, what y'all got out here? Very, very wonderful. I'm waiting for the trade deadline. I mean, uh, for the next boss season. Yep. So, uh, this is a fun series. I don't know what we're going to do next season, though. We got Jaden Ivy, the face of the team. Nobody else in the face of the team. Jaden Ivy, coach for Sean. He'll be the number one scoring option, no matter what. Damn. We're going to treat Jaden Ivy like Trey Young this year, or next year. Damn. I'm gonna send him to training camp for the shooting. Training camp for the shooting. And then, it's cool though, that's what I mean. I still got the, the length. No, I see what you mean though, Levine out of the way. So, 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 oh, so, okay. And you got Jalen Green too. Hmm, Ivy and I'm, Green. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to bring back Jalen Green. So that's why I'm open to trading Levine for a pick. For a top pick in the draft, because uh, I beat the cat. I'm bringing back Jalen Green no matter what. Damn, yeah, that's a deal. You're going to have to make an off season before the draft. You know what I'm saying? With that money you're yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, I already know. That's all yep. the Yes, I've been aware of what I'm doing. Yep. Already, already know what I'm doing. It, it, it's really like AD is one of the kings but he's really a punk like he's just there it's like y'all y'all don't know like he's just there so y'all can fight. oh he got ad i don't think a fuck about ad i, I got Jaden iv and Jalen green and colin saxon can get the fuck up out of here too Nobody cares about AD, it's not true. Yeah, the, SCG, yeah, know, Mama Soda. I don't care. Yep. Well, I've heard people say I owe me AD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah That's because you those stole them from SCG. SCG. Okay. Yep. You stole them. It's SCG's guy. He was playing for Mama I Soda. I'm not aware that that was her guy. Mm hmm. Add an insult to injury. Yep. I'm not I am asking. Nah, nah, nah. I paid a lot of attention this year, but I didn't at the same time. Like I said, it was kind of like a tenth year. I'm okay with losing this year. I was talking about tenth in the beginning. But then, in the middle of the season, I realized I have paid me a little bit on this big ass contract. And I have. Yep. Exactly. Now Levine's on a big contract. Yep. Yeah. I just seen and I that. tried to trade. I tried to trade Levine before uh, Lillard. So I tried to keep Lillard. And the original offer I was going to do was Levine for I. And that, I think either way that trade went through. To be totally honest with you. But shit, it is what it is. He has Damian Lillard. Uh, Xbox has a Bono Five superstar. I think that was just me thinking a good brother do. Yep. But I I knew that it helped my team more than it helped his. That's all. But it was still a good brother do because he wanted a superstar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The same way Double L wanted a superstar with Russell Westbrook. Yeah, he got Russ. Yep. Yeah, he got Russell, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> that ain't right. No, you ain't right. Hold on now. Let's check out Russell, man. He's Now, he's on his Clippers contract, so it's only one year. Uh, and it's only nine mil. It's not like that bloated deal that the Lakers were paying him uh, prior yeah, to the buyout. Yeah, so there's a potential. The there's a potential that Russell Westbrook is coming back home to the beat. It's also potential he coming home to the Warriors. Yep. He probably knew what the plan was all along. 
He coming he's with us, yeah. He's going to the fucking first person that fucking asked to fucking trade them for fucking something Damn. that's fucking 17 or 18, because that's X dog. The Nets got cap. Mavericks got cap. The Browns got cap. The Lakers don't got no cap. Clack Staffers yeah, got cap. Oh, this is next year, though. That's next year. Man, Mavericks do got cap. Man, man, hold on, man. Look at this. He got all these guys already signed. Yep. His offseason is going to be consistent of begging Kuzma to come back. Yep. Begging Kimba to come back. Begging, oh, paying Reeves a hundred million. Hey, Kingsler, Kingsler, how much of this hundred million you gonna give Reeves this season versus this season and this season and this season? You know what I'm talking about? I ain't giving Reeves a hundred fucking oh. million. He wants a hundred fucking million, he can go fucking ask fucking Taylor fucking Swift for it. All right. <laughs> Okay, so you better offer him some condoms, all right? God damn it. I would just say the truth. Oh, I don't know if any of that was streamed last night, but that was the funniest fucking shit ever, man. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. No. I think we streamed one match from it. He may not even be on my bucket team next year. I don't think he will be, man. Hey, 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 hey. hey, hey, hey. You might be able to work out a trade with me. I don't know if you like it. It's not like a self-reliant big contract, bro. That's all it is, man. You just look at that. Yeah, King Slayer's got the... Oh, no, that's purple. It'll be perfect because I have a, a big pass, too, on that guy. And he has a big pass. And... Reeves don't got big cap yet. You'd be talking about a sign and trade deal. Yep. Kingslayer sign him and then trade him for Levine. Man, you know that might not be a bad idea. Why man. have I made a 77 million? Uh, you in the hole. Why am I making this luxury tax? What the fuck happened to all my fucking luxury tax? I don't know, but you got all these guys under these big ass contracts. Uh, How much money do I get? This is why you're under 77 million. Like, you got like one, two, two guys on like max deal. All these guys are damn near. This is a max deal, max deal. Yeah, that's the hometown max deal. I think the rest of these guys are on max deals too, though. How long to have them same for? All these years. All, all the years. Good. Yeah. Right, so I'm pretty sure there's only fucking like two people that need fucking re-sign anyway. That's the non-abusive one. You're gonna need to convince Porzingis that this like is the place to bleed. Uh, you're gonna probably be able to get Wiseman and Green to come back real quick with Cole Anthony and Poskaluski. But Ariza, Lou Williams, Holiday, kiss your games goodbye. Yeah, they're home. I don't know. Ariza's out. You know the good thing is starting the season before the playoffs took place, Tom? That's right. It means that, you know, the next contract that, you know, Austin Reeves gets, he's not going to be registered as fucking what he did in the playoffs, because, you know, you haven't reset the game. Yeah, but, uh, but... So it goes by yeah. how he's played and ever played. Yeah, goals. how is he so in this game? His contract's not going to be a hundred fucking million. Yeah, you're right. Whereas you're if right. we started a new fucking game right now, it would be because his fucking rating in the ring would shoot up. Yeah, wait, wait, hold on. Where is his rating in the KBA, man? Uh, 
Uh, he hurt, so he is 78. Yeah, he can't get no 100 million at 78, man. He gonna be right around here. Oh, he on rookie deal. That's probably close to this. Yeah, somewhere between them. Yeah, somewhere between them. Wait, shop Kessler for another three years? She said four. But the team, team, uh, exception. Oh, that's Bassey. That's Bassey. Don't go. He not four with the team, he is. And he got a player option, but he's probably happy and shit. I'm ecstatic. I grew up watching the Claymores. When he started balling, he was young. Oh shit, nah, he fell uneasy. Yeah, he uneasy, King Sir. Yeah. <laughs> he fell on. Oh, oh. That'll change. Yeah, I know. Change. He gonna be our rate after he gets swept out of these playoffs, man. After what we do to these niggas, man. No, 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 no. no, no. After what we do to these guys, he's out of here. Yep. Yep. You're welcome. Yeah, don't worry, I'll get rid of your problem for you. Oh, don't worry, I'll get rid of your problem for you. Uh, we ain't got LeBron, no LeBron, you can retire. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Four more years, Bron. You got it. ain't winning any fucking KBA titles ever. I just want y'all to be aware. Even as your silly little kid. Once I fucking sign him, he's getting put on the reserves. You know, like Hauser. <laughs> we ain't never gonna have no cash space. What the fuck? All right, all right. We got a three-year window, y'all. We got a three-year window. Is Hauser leaving at the end of the season? Please tell me he's leaving so I can get the fuck, get me the fuck. Man, you better hold on to Hauser for dear life, man. Do we gotta go into a scrimmage so you can see what he, Hauser got, man? You know, he got three years, two in the possible. Yep. Yeah, he's definitely getting treated. All right, man. And Hauser is your Austin Reeves. Yeah, he's your Austin. Oh shit, nah, he, he disturbed by the current situation. Y'all ain't developing. Six, seven. He, he's the new. Who's the last guy? Greg Slaughter. He's the new Greg Slaughter. He can contribute, man. You just gotta give him a shot. Okay, I'll, I'll let him contribute. Send him to the Jimmy. All right, hold on. Wait, hold on, one team. All right, that's the team. I don't know if the GB is still happening right now. No, we can't send them to GB right now. I mean, I think, you know, they're there in their playoffs or something. The finals. Oh, well, then it seems like he's fucked. Yeah, well, he's, he's, he's got a bright future, all right? Uh, we'll take him on. We'll take him on. Yeah. What well, he likes to keep it. Yeah. Yeah, y'all doing it right though. Keep the guy signed up. I'm signed up. Yeah, man. He ain't even gonna be in the scrimmage, man. That's fucked up. Yeah, I got him in reserves with Austin Reeves for his bum, bum ankle. Or his bum shoulder. Uh, why is Austin Reeves saying he's still fucking injured? Because I clearly seen the message pop up and fucking say that Austin Reeves is fucking he fully healed. And did it? Yes, right after I fucking beat fucking Decker and fucking secured the fucking playoff against you, it said Austin fucking Reeves is fucking fully healed. So why is he saying he's injured again? I don't know. I don't know. Uh. Uh. Are you sure it was Austin Reed that was saying that about? Yes, he was the only person that had the injury. Oh, and I said, remember I said, look, he's fucking healed just in time because I put him on the fucking bench as, uh, on the reserve to bring in fucking one and I said, fucking, he can heal up for this fucking last fucking game and after the fucking game it said Austin Reeves are fully healed. I said, see, it worked. He didn't have to fucking play, he didn't have to strain himself. He's fucking fully healed now. May 4th. It's saying May 4th, hold on, what day is today? I think it's April something. April 27th. He playable though. But they ain't saying he is. Well, not right now, anyway. But who knows, man. Maybe it's pop up before our game. What is going to happen before our game? Uh, uh, is this? Okay. 
That's the schedule, y'all. That's the schedule. The third. Bones Clack Stabbers is the main event. Hey, it's the defending champions, you know. You know. Okay, let me see my uh, thing. Go delete that game plan I had for the Lakers. Okay. For a Lakers. And delete the one for Decker's team as well. I haven't even got one for the Lakers, but you do got one for Decker's team. What? Oh, I didn't go to it. Okay. Alright. Alright, what y'all doing? Alright, what y'all doing? Alright, alright. Let me see the reserves. There you go. Swap uh, Bourbon and Russell. <laughs> Swap Russell and Nurkic. Alright, man, you're gonna make us bring out Taco Fall, man. Or some Bourbon, man. Come on, man. Get your big, get your big. I want to get my big. Right, now go to the management. All right. Thing there. Yeah, turn that line up performance down. I'm just going to down to it. Alright. That way they have to fucking play what I fucking set up at the start. They can change it to whatever fucking mid game if they want. I'm not changing it straight away. Right, right now we go see the other part. Change the first one to Tatum, uh, Tatum. Just swap Tatum and Towns around. Right. Then change the third one to Randall. Conservative defense. <laughs> they got the least fouls in the league in the playoffs. Oh man. That's why, y'all. Oh man. <sighs> right, what's the defensive rebounding options? Running transition or what else? Uh, I don't know. Crash the glass, some crash of his run, run in transition. Yeah, put the trash. Yeah, if that'll do, I'll see how well that does for the first game. Spirit of fairness, pulling all our, pulling all our cards on the table too. I know we got a lineup for y'all. Wait, damn, we don't got a lineup for y'all. Yeah, I think it takes it out as soon as you reach the playoffs. Cause I did have one for you. Remember when I put Boban on Buck and LeBron and everything? Yeah. So yeah. I think it just as soon as the playoffs work the thing, it just gets rid of that. 
All right, let's put Jimmy Butler on Tatum. Uh, it don't really matter if he on Tams. Yes, it does. Yeah, right. <laughs> put Jimmy Reddish on Tams. <laughs> Reddish on Tams. You know, Tams is just gonna run past him anyway and go straight after fucking Gilgis. I ain't really worried about that. I got tagged Gil just on town, so you ain't gotta worry about it. Where, where Jimmy Butler at? We're gonna, be, we're gonna meticulously plot for y'all. Alright. Alright, where Kimber Walker at? Fucking Peyton. Peyton Pat Bucking LeBron on top of the head. He's a nice try. And Peyton Pritchard on, on Kimber Walker. He's putting Taco Fall on Bobon. He got in the last the game. The most season. There we go. He, he came up in the last in the other playoff game. I seen him out there. I didn't know why he was out there. Uh, what else we got, man? Why do I got guilt just on towns? Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Why do I got guilt just on towns? Let me think about this. Why do I got guilt just on? This is a backfire like a motherfucker. All right, all right. We put guilt just on towns. We're going to go just on towns. <laughs> Alright. I think that's all we doing, man. That's all we doing. Uh, they're going to put Brian on, on Randall. Randall more than he can handle. Nah, we ain't putting no Brian on no way. That's all we doing. Shutting down Tatum in town. So they're gonna have to beat us with the rest of these guys. Oh yeah, yeah, I said I was gonna do something to Kuzma, right? Alright, what are we gonna do to Kuzma? We're gonna keep Kuzma from doing anything all game. We're gonna do nothing to Kuzma. <laughs> <laughs> we put LeBron on Kuzma. <laughs> we're gonna put somebody on Kuzma. We're gonna have the ball. To put LeBron on Kuzma. Oh, we, don't, we don't need the balls to put LeBron. We put Mobley on Kuzma. Nah, hold on. Mobley's a big guy. Hold on, man. I want Mobley to be free, man. We gonna put. How tall is Kuzma? Kuzma ain't tall. We put Max Christie. <laughs> we are gonna go. We go do some research. Oh yeah, we definitely put Max Christie on him, man. Hold on, man. His ass, uh, he's just taller than fucking Walker, and Walker's what? Oh, man, yeah, we definitely putting Christy on him, man. You kidding me? Yeah, we don't want no, no Ingrams. Alright, we're gonna do some research. Where Kuzma the chest at? 6'9? Ah, oh, hold on now, wait a minute. Max Christy may not be big enough to play on him. Hold on, wait a minute now. Yeah, that's you may not be big enough to play on him. Yeah. Nah, we going no preference, man. We ain't trying to get, we ain't trying to burn y'all to death. Uh. Yeah, it's just gonna backfire again. Wait, yeah, hold on. How tall is, what's, what's, what's Doug Christie? Six five. Nah, man. Hold on, man. We ain't gonna disrespect my nah, man Max like that, man. I'm out here struggling and shit. Nah, we ain't gonna do that to him. Where Kuzma at, man? We gotta take Max Christie off of him. All right, he's six six nine or something like that. Uh, we ain't putting nobody on Kuzma, man. Hold on, what are we gonna do to make him leave there? Make him leave here. We ain't gonna do nothing. Uh, anybody on him is gonna make him leave here. So Wait, yeah. how tall is Bucking Hauser? Uh, hold on. There we go. Yeah, I got this right as quick. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Six, seven. Eight, six, seven. 
Damn, I say he a shooter though. Three point scoring, mid range scoring, and inside scoring. How tall is Walker? Six two. His inside a D plus though. Yeah, six feet. Six feet. Yeah. Walker's only six feet. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why we keep saying he's the smallest small for it. He's small to me. He's small for a point guard. I would not have a point. That's why I'm going to be playing Pritchard. Okay, I know where I'm going to do then. Mm -hmm. Swap Walker, put Walker in the reserves and bring in Buckingham Housing, then have Housing Buckingham D up LeBron. All right, man. He wants to book and impress me. There's the way to do it. Right, Take him out. All right. All right. All right. All right. Um, you want him further down in the, in the depth chart, though, or you... Yes, put, let's walk on with a lot of nuns. Alright. Alright. Alright, and you're fighting on Brown. Oh, wait, hold on. You gotta go. Go to me. Yeah. Alright, uh. In fact, just, just, just leave it. Don't, don't, don't have a mark on anybody. Just, I will wait until mm -hmm. you see. You know, if, it, if he's truly supposed to stay on my team, he'll know what to do. Yeah, that's true. That's true. At high key. You know to take out LeBron. That's what I'll be doing. I'll just be watching them. See what they uh, can do. No, I ain't gonna give you a fucking game plan because you know if I go into the game plan thing, it's gonna fuck up my fucking team. Yeah, mine too. That's why I was like, I ain't gonna put nobody on cruise with fucking. Uh, leave my team to fucking thing. They know what they're doing. They remember. <laughs> We're gonna put Gilgis on town to see what happens, y'all. We're gonna see what happens. <laughs> I know it's a gamble, but we're gonna see what happens, man. Oh man, we ain't gonna see it right now. But we gonna have to see it. That's what's gonna happen. Yeah, that's what they all say. They all say. Now, I've ha now I have house and towns on the fucking court. <laughs> Alright, man. Where's the, where's the thing at? Rivals. There you go. Just wait till I find fucking an Italian guy called Hospitali. Because that's where Gilgis will be going. Alright, man. Threatening our players. In a town called Carl. Yeah, man, we beat y'all three times this season. Wait, look, versus last. Wait, what do you mean current and last? What? This is confusing as fuck. Hold on. The current is one and three, but the last is three and up. Oh. Right. Alright. Yeah, the last season that you... Oh, last season. Aye, aye, bet, 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 bet. Yes, the current one, because, you know, I won the greatest game of all fucking time. Yeah. So, you know, it doesn't really matter if you won the last fucking three. Yeah, you got a point there. I've seen them games. <clears throat> yep, this is it right here. I won enough in that fucking first game to win two games anyway, so, you know, it doesn't really matter. But we got a Death Star, all right? Yep. Our weaknesses are still, so is y'all's though. Yep, you got the three point Good for scan. You. We have a sports entertainer. Alright, man. Alright. Who's in witness protection? Yeah. Uh. Damn. Damn, hold on, man. If we beat y'all by 30 points last time, man, I ain't worried about this at all, man. Let's get it. But I see y'all got A pluses all the way down the thing except for that offensive IQ. <laughs> but y'all shit is that great. So, you know. What is that? Okay. Okay. Damn. Okay, Taco Falls our block leader? Wow. Wow. He only played like that one game. I didn't even know why he was. I thought I'd put him in the reserves. So I think I put two cold guys in the reserves. I don't know what he was doing, but it's looking like Tatum. Tatum leading the playoffs in points. Obviously, we need to shut that down. We're putting Jimmy in. Bridge is leading your team in assists. Um, I didn't even know Brown was leading our team in points. It's crazy. Um, Butler got the stills. Kessler got the stills over there. Bassey with the boards. Aiton with the boards. Oh, and we could do bench. Nice. Nice. Mr. 
team car shit. Okay. Hmm. Yep. Yep. Two solid benches. First guy on my bench though is LeBron James, y'all. Yep. First guy on my bench is LeBron James. He gonna be out there when Howls are out there. Don't you worry about it. <coughs> Might wind up getting some of them assignments. Yep, I see Kuzma. Damn, Santa is it? Taco Fall in the lineup. Who the fuck is out the lineup then? Let me go check that. Alright, y'all third in points be first. Y'all 25th in points allowed. I'm 26. Uh, field goal efficiency, we got y'all. Three point efficiency is copy. Free throw, copy. Rebound, second to the eighth. I about 10 rebounds separating. Yep, yep, that's rebounds. First and assist, got a name. That's not bad, respectfully. And second and steals, y'all nice. It's also respectable. Fuck the shot chart. Um, and I was trying to see who the other two guys was. Yeah, I'm gonna go all the way to this shit. Oh, Hayes and Sharp, I got up in the thing now. Damn. Yeah, so so that's why they was out here. Um Yeah, hold on, let me check the game game, actual game joints. Played nine minutes and got three blocks. He ain't played since a month ago. <laughs> he played on G Day, got three blocks. That's my man, man. That's what's up. Damn, he went a month between playing games here too. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, y'all don't never play here, man. Anyway, you got a point there. Uh, his minutes got slowed up. Wait, this one right here. Damn. Yeah. Oh man, he is getting 20 minutes a game, man. Remember one season, I was trying to play him like 30 minutes a game. They were talking about he's Shaq. <laughs> like this shit did not work. Hey, but hold on, man. 14 points. Wait a minute, man. He got some. He got. He got one good game. <laughs> I let him rebound the night before. Man. I think that's what I'm gonna do, man. I think for some team, we're just gonna bring Taco yeah, Fall. Like yeah, I know, right? Man, I'm about to bring him a double up. You got hell to pay, double you know, up. Yeah, I mean, every every stole like booking like 22, 23, 24, you know, every work, you know, every Yep, we passed that, man. That's super true. I assume that's how it works, because you know that's how it works. Yeah, that is pretty much, man. Hey, I've done this for seven years, I ain't changing it now. Like, well, you fucking should be changing it. <laughs> it's not work for seven fucking years. Yeah, that's how that shit be though, man. Uh, players, some sometimes they, uh, sometimes they, uh, uh, what happens in basketball is guys. It's, it's similar to what happens in wrestling. You know what happened with Jericho? Uh, he tweak his move set or whatever like that, so he could extend his career. That's typically what happens in basketball. Guys who, when they are young, like you know how Ja always cut to the basket and be gamming on motherfuckers. Well. He ain't gonna be able to do that six seasons from now because you know everybody gonna know that that's what he about to do, so he's gonna elbow him all the time. So he he's gonna, gonna be fucking fired. Yeah, is that too? Yeah, the they saying they gonna give him uh 30, 30 games. Um, but come on, man, what's that? Like, come on, man, the beginning of the season, like fuck out of here, bro. But uh, but he probably gonna have a jump shot within like in six seasons, like a solid jump shot, like you know. 
And then guys, that's, that'd be the other thing in the league. If you ain't able to develop like these other things along the way, you basically get lost in the shuffle. That's what the free agency be filled with. You guys who, they had that spark when they was young, but you know, uh, they can't bounce like they used to bounce. So that's all they can do. So you know, a lot of teams don't need them. That's all, uh, you know, when, when you're young. Is Adam Silver gonna change how the, the, the league's announced? What, the KBA, the Canon Basketball Association? No, I wonder if it's, you know, the actual, the National Basketball Association. I don't know, I don't think so. Well, I mean, he really should have. He's going to, you know, ban Buckingham's jar for Buckingham 30 games because, you know, he's holding a gun. But, you know, every game he's sitting there and here, LeBron's a shooter, really. Yeah, that's true. You're not going to change that term of booking thingy then? Because, you know, Jar's just promoting the NBA by, you know, having a gun. Because he's a shooter as well. <clears throat> Even whether it be a toy gun or not. Oh, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Bring LeBron out. Uh, I know you got Tatum. Yeah. Tell her to take y'all. <coughs> yeah, she's St. Vincent's. Hmm, yeah, St. Vincent, St. Mary's. That's crazy. Damn. Yeah, but the stats tell a different story. Um, but they they got they got different roles, man. They got different yeah, roles. Yeah, because their, their basketball team was called the Fighting Irish. That's crazy. I didn't even know that. Yeah, the died until I watched that movie. This because is... they, they started fucking thinking when the, the, the little guy was fucking telling them that they should go to fucking... The Catholic school in the ring is like, uh, you know we're black, right? <laughs> it's like, and it's like, you know what they don't have there? <laughs> black. People. And he's like, so, what's the name of their team? They're like, so we're gonna be the, the Black Irish. Okay, guess we can get used to that. Okay, that's in the NBA, in the position. You did it right, man. Yep, and so are we. Because I'm pretty sure mine is out. You seen that shit yet? Nope. Yeah, I'm sure that shit got to be out right now. Yeah, it's midnight. Yep, I know it's out. If not, it'll be out in the next 30 minutes. So, no, you guys could see anything in the world. But we going to Cuckoo Clown. Cuckoo Clown. With LeBron. <laughs> <laughs>